How are you guys doing today? This is going to be the video of the stances for white belt. All right, we're going to cover horse stance, front stance, and back stance. These lovely ladies are going to turn into different positions uh, so that you can see all the way around as how the stance is supposed to be executed. We're going to talk about the characteristics of each stance. What I need everybody to understand is it's very, very important for us to practice our basic stances like this, to get them down perfect because it builds the foundation that we put our technique upon. We want a nice solid foundation so that we can continue to execute very well executed techniques. So I know I've said execute twice, but don't nobody make fun of me at home. All right, here's what we're gonna do. All right, ladies, can you please turn the direction I need you to turn? All right, very good. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna ask them to execute the horse stance. And I'm gonna watch this because we're gonna see how many mistakes they make and then we're gonna correct them. Are you ladies ready? Yes, sir. No, you know, I can't hear you ladies. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Very good. On my command, would you please execute a horse stance, no punch? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, don't sir. hurt yourselves, ladies. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Here we go. Hey! Oh! Very good. Very good. All right. Now, notice some of the characteristics. Feet are going to be double shoulder width apart. Both feet should be pointing straight forward like you're on skis. Very good. Knees are out. She's doing a great job. Hands on the hips. Elbows back, nice strong posture. If you look at it from the side, Miss Music, you can check out her posture, how her chest is forward and her back is arched. From the other side, you've got Miss Music. Look at that. Did I just call her Miss Morsh? I sure felt like I did. You folks at home, you gotta work with me today. All right, so this is the finished product, okay? So these are all the things that we wanna make sure we pay attention to, right? The bent knees, both knees are bent, feet pointed forward. Nice strong arch in the back, shoulders are solid, elbows pushed back, like you're almost like you're trying to push them together, and hands on your hips. All right, ladies, ready position. Outstanding. All right, I want you to start following along with us now at home. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to put your hands on your hips, ladies. You folks at home do the same thing. When I say one, you are going to pick up your right leg. Are you ready? Is it your right leg? Oh, you guys would follow me into the worst situation, wouldn't you? It's, I mean, it's like it should be the left leg, shouldn't it? Yes, you guys at home, remember, we always do everything on the left side first, right? So let's make sure. And I'm going to mess with these girls the whole time, so you guys can get them a laugh at home all you want. Yeah. All right, so here we go. When I say one, you're going to pick up the left leg, ladies. Are you ready? One. When I say two, you're going to step out, double shoulder width apart. Two. When I say three, you're going to bend your knees. Good. Make sure your knees are pointed out. I didn't say three. Yeah. Well, why'd you guys go? I did. Well, it looks like you went. <laughs> Overachievement, ladies and gentlemen. Overachievement. When I say four, you're going to make sure your back is straight and your posture is correct. Miss Music, please bend your knees. There you go. All right, good. Make, that's perfect. Look at those legs. Look at those feet. All right, here we go. Ready position. To be. Left leg will come back, so you guys follow that. All right, here we go. Hands on your hips. One, two, three. Bend those knees. Good, very good. One of the things you want to make sure you do on step two as you step out is control your weight. You don't want to rock this direction or, or not come out far enough. Get that leg up, come out, set your weight, and then we drop. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Ready position. You folks at home, follow along. We're going to do it again. Here we go. Hands on the hips. One, two, three, four. Ooh, nice backs, nice posture. All right, ready position, ladies. Thank you very much. Now let's talk about what the hands do, okay? We're going to be picking up our left leg and moving. So we're going to take our right hand, for you guys, it'll be this hand right here, and we're going to make a fist, and we're going to turn it upside down. We're going to bring it to that hip. Then we're going to take this hand, our left hand, and we're going to make a fist, and we're going to put the palm down. See that? Then we're going to bring it right over top so that we look just like this. Now, can you do that with me, Mackenzie, so they can see you at home? All right, here we go. We're going to do it again. We're going to take our right hand, and you're right from your left, don't you? Okay, very good. All right, right hand, we're going to put it out. We're going to make a fist. We're going to bring it back to our hip. We're going to take our left hand, we're going to put it out, we're going to make a fist, and we're going to put it right over top of that other hand, just like that. Now, that will be part of step one. So, as we come to step one, when I say one, we want to be here. When I say two, we will step out. 
When I say three, you're going to bring that other hand over. When I say four, we're going to arch that back. Do you ladies understand my directions? Yes, sir. Now, I want nice loud kiosks. Do you understand my directions? Yes, sir. All right, very good. So, you at home, follow along. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. One, teacup and saucer. Very good. You got it, Kenzie? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Two, step out. Bend those knees. Three, bring that hand back to that hip. Makaya Music, what are you doing? You look like you in one of them movies on TV. Go, girl. Bring it right around. Just like it don't got to go, what's up? Right? Let's focus. You at home, pay attention to the corrections I make with these guys. This will help you learn this technique. Here we go. Jumbi. Very good. One. Good. Two. Step back. Three. Four. Step back. Everybody check your knees. Make sure you got a nice bend in those knees. Make sure you got a nice bend in those knees. I know these girls' legs are getting tired, so you got to follow along at home. Here you go, ladies. Ready position. Let's do it one more time for the folks at home, and then we'll drill it. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Woo. I guess Miss Music wants a five, so let's straighten the back out now because you did four on the bend the knee. But that's okay, though. I like your overachiever. You're an overachiever. I like that. Your enthusiasm is great. Thank you, sir. All right, ready position. All right, you folks at home, we're going to follow along with this drill. These ladies are going to do it on my command. They're going to do every one of the movements, and I want you to drill with them. Are you ready, ladies? Yes, sir. I want to hear a nice, loud kiosk. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Hey! Ah! Jumbi. Hey! Ah! Jumbi. You got it, Kenzie? Yes, sir. All right, I told you, no drinking before 7 o'clock in the evening, all right? Stay out that blue Kool-Aid. Here we go. Hey! Yeah. Jibi! Hey! Yeah. Jibi! Hey! Yeah. Jibi, ladies. Very, very good. All right, now we're going to go right into the front stance. The front stance is basically the first fighting type stance that you're going to learn. All right, so here's what's going to happen. I will demonstrate it, and then these ladies are going to help me go through the steps. So from this direction here, I'm going to do a right leg front stance because my right leg is going to stay forward. That's what it signifies whether it's a right or left leg. If I do a left leg front stance, my left leg will be forward. And I know you folks at home know this already. So here we go from June B to a right leg front stance. Hey! June B. Now I'm going to turn this direction. Now I'm going to turn this direction so you can see. Hey! Very, very good. Okay, now, you've seen how it's demonstrated. Now, I'm going to have Miss Music go into this front stance, and we're going to talk about the characteristics. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Hey! Ah! All right, now, if you will look at this back leg, it's very straight, very straight. Like you're propping up a door with a stick or something. Back foot is forward. Front knee is bent. And she's going to look down at the end of her knee. And she's going to move it forward until she can just barely see the tip of her big toe. That foot is straight forward. Hips are square. Now I'm going to have Miss Smith do this stance on my command. You hold your stance. Ready, Miss Smith? Yes, sir. Hey! Hey! Uh. Right, now from the front, you can see... When she does her guard position, she wants her hands right here on the, just on the center line. See how her hips are nice and square? Her front knee is bent. Her back leg is locked. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Hey! Go! Good. Now you get a really good shot of this front knee right here. See how it comes down and bends down this way? That's a really nice angle right there. Her back is nice and straight. Her hands are terrible, but I'm going to fix that for her. Now let's one, make one thing very, very clear. We want to understand that the hand in front in guard position is going to be the same leg. Does that make sense? All right. Yes, sir. All right. Ready position, ladies. All right, now we're going to count through the numbers, and we're going to work our way through this. So let's put our hands on our hips, please. When I say one, you're going to step back with your left leg. Got that? Yes, sir. All right, one. When I say two, you're going to bend your front knee. Two. When I say three, you're going to make sure you lock your back leg. Three. 
When I say four, you're going to make sure your posture is straight and your hips are square. Four. Very good. Just like that. That is excellent, ladies. Good job. GB. All right. I'm going to go through these numbers. You folks at home, follow along. Do it with us. Here we go. Hands on your hips. One. Two. Three. Lock that back leg. Four. Square the hips and straighten that back. Good. GB. Now let's make sure we have a good depth and width. Now what am I talking about when I say depth and width, all right? Ms. Smith, I want you to execute the front, right leg front stance on my command. Understand these directions? Yes, sir. Hey! Uh. All right. When I say width, I mean how far apart these two feet are, right here. So hers is a little narrow. So what we're going to do is we're going to widen it up so she has a better base. Let's bring this foot out a little bit more, just like that. Now look how that squared her hips, and she's much stronger now. See, her body's more solid, and she can resist that. Now she needs to bend that front knee a little bit, but it's okay. A little bit of laziness won't kill you. Most 16-year-olds are a bit lazy anyway. All right, now you're going to execute that. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Hey! Get it! No, you look terrible. Jimmy. I'm going to have her do it. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm just picking on you. Hey! Oh! All right, now when I say depth, I mean the distance between this foot and this foot. If it's too big, you're going to have trouble moving forward. If it's too shallow, you're going to have trouble maintaining your strength this direction, right? Yes, sir. You girls could give me a little resistance when I'm doing these examples, okay, ladies? All right, outstanding. To be. All right, now let's make sure we've got a good solid depth and width when we're doing these techniques. Follow along at home. We're going to go right back to the numbers. Ladies, hands on your hips. One. Two, bend that knee. Three, lock that leg. Four, square them hips and straighten that back. To be. Let's do it again. Hands on your hips. Follow along at home with us. One. Two, bend that knee. Three, lock that back leg. Four, square those hips. Straighten that back. Jumbi. All right, outstanding. Now, you at home, follow along. I'm going to key, I'm going to give the command. You guys are going to explode in that stance. You understand these directions? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I know she's not ready. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. I want guard position and everything. Here we go. Follow along. Hey! Get it! 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 You gotta get that widened. Come on. Jubi. Attention to get along, folks, so pay attention because now we're going to do a left leg front stance. So that means which leg will be forward, ladies? Left, left sir. Leg. All right, you folks at home got that? Left leg will stay forward, so you'll step back with what leg, ladies? Left leg, sir. If your left, left leg is forward, right. you can't step back with it there, black belt. All right, we're going to step back with the right leg since uh, Miss Music is really, really with it today. All right, here we go. Are you ready, ladies? Yes, sir. Are you ready at home? Let's do this. Hey! I work on that depth and width, right? You're doing the same thing, just on the other side. Now, you're pretty narrow right there, so let's bring that foot out a little bit. There you go. That makes you more solid. Looking better, Mackenzie. Looking better. Jabi. Let's do it again. Here we go. Hey! Yeah! Beautiful job, ladies. Jabi. Just step straight back, Mackenzie. Don't turn your foot out. That's causing your hips to come out. Of, they're coming to a 45, right? All right, here we go. Hey! Good job. Nice depth and width from this angle. The front angle looks fantastic. The side angle is looking really, really good. You ladies are doing a great job. Thank you. Ready position. Let's do it again. Follow along at home. We're going to do it three times. We're going to rock through it. Are you ready, ladies? Yes, sir. Jimmy. Ready position. Jimmy. Yes! Jumbi, ladies. All right, we have one more.
more stance that we need to cover for the white belt level. It's going to be the back stance. Okay. Now we're going to do this stance to help you get it figured out from the front stance. And it's pretty much on the video that we've already got placed on there that we, where we did the front stance, back stance drill. And we're going to do that again on this video, but this is going to contain all of the stances for the white belt level. So as we come from this position, I will step back into my front stance, my right leg front stance, and then I will shift this foot into an L position. You see how that works? Yes, sir. Both knees will be bent. I'm not going to lean either direction. I'm going to shift my hips and shift my weight back to this leg here. My target's still in front of me. Now I'm at a 45 degree angle with about 60 to 70% of my weight on my back leg. Then I'll come back to ready. So here we are. I'll step back into my front, my front stance. Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy. 
B.